Okay, alrighty, alrighty. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so you can hear it in my voice, yes. It's not hoarse, it doesn't sound weird. I do have a few, exp or just one small explanation for the last, what, seven episodes, I would like to say? Yeah, seven. Uh, yeah, it was pointed out by one of my subscribers. Yes, I was sick. I was, uh, you know, I had a very nasty cold around that time when I was doing recording. And uh, it lasted only seven episodes. Yeah, I was feeling like that. Bad. And uh, I want to say I took a full month off. And, uh, you know, just to uh, post, the, post up all these videos and all that stuff, guys. But we're back. I'm healthy as always. As many of you guys already know, health issues have been something for me. But we're better than ever. Now, here we are in Lavor City. I think that's what it's named. And, uh, you know, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. We're going to go straight to the Pokemon Gym because, well, it has been almost a month since I played this game and whatnot. And, uh, well, there's going to be a few things that you're going to be finding around here. You know, a gym, people. Uh, what does this person do? The building that's part of the biggest tree in town is the Laver City Pokemon Gym. Actually, it's the building right next to us. Ah, this gym right here. Now, that is home to a new typing of Pokemon. That is the fairy type. Now, talk to this lady. She's like, what's this? I see perhaps a trainer as accomplished as you. You can get the most out of this. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Gengarite. That right there is the Mega Evolutionary Stone for a Gengar. And uh, I think we have... I think we have a Gengar, or we'll eventually have a Gengar and all that stuff. And, uh, well, I'm going to be checking out some places. Greetings, greetings. As you can see, I am the headed local chapter of the Pokemon Fan Club here in Kalos region. It is pr it is my proud duty to grant effort uh, ribbons to any Pokemon that are clearly making an effort. Greetings, greetings. Let's see your Helioptile, and it's definitely making the effort. However, it will have to work a little harder if it wants to get special something from me, which... You know, I could always show my starter Pokemon, but, you know, whatever. And, uh, well, let's see. I want free items. That's exactly what I want first before we go into Pokemon gyms and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Talk to this girl. She's like, every gym badge tells the story of a hard-won victory against a worthy opponent. I can look at the badge and tell you which Pokemon were with you and won it. Can I see one of your gym badges? Sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and give... You know what? The Rumble Badge. Okay, you got the Rumble Badge with, uh, let's see, Delphox, Halucha, Gogo, and Tyrant, and Honage, and Helioptile. A whole team! You ready for anything? Want me to show you another gym badge? No, but it's very nice to, to remember the past, especially with, you know, battling everybody. They say that in ancient days, uh, man and Pokemon were the same. That's, or there's even the that old story where a frog could turn into a human, right? Probably. You must be talking about Ash Greninja and all that stuff. Okay. So, let's get ready to... Uh, let's see. That is a cafe right there. And you know what? I really love big things. My Pokemon... Or my favorite Pokemon are big ones, too. I mean... By big, you know... Is being taller than 910. Come on. If you have a big Pokemon, show it to me. What? No big Pokemon for me? I want to see a Pokemon bigger than 910. That... That right there, there's only a, a few Pokemon that are taller than 910. Onyx, Steelix come to mind, uh, Whale Lord. Hell, I think uh, Whalemur is one of those Pokemon. Hmm, we need to check that out later on. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on the Laver City Gym. And uh, yes, this place right here is the first fairy type gym as you guys can see the only man that's ever believed in us is going to be like well howdy mr pouty what's new future champ this year laver city pokemon gym has some truly confounding conundrums the first shocker is the this here is a fairy type gym bet you'd never seen one of these before the second shocker is how you get around hop on one of the warp panels and off you go but where you'll land nobody knows <laughs> Just pulling your leg, champ. The the warp panels all fix destinations, of course. So go on, step on the flashing yellow panel. Okay. Alrighty, so a yellow panel. Let's go. Let's do it. Do it for you know, let's do it for the Pokemon. Let's do it for our gym badges. All that fun stuff. America. Whatever. Okay, so let's see. 
Berry type Pokemon, as many of you guys already know. Weak to Steel type, Poison type, and I believe Fighting type. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna go with Blade right here because well, we need we need Blade. Alrighty. Let's do not ignore me. The fiercer girl had her clothing uh, designed by one of the only the one and only Valerie. How do I look? I must live it up to Valerie's beautiful design by displaying the equi equality or equally beautiful battle technique. Ah, okay, so I guess beautiful battle technique is gonna be good. So here we go, taking on Fury Sword Girl Kai, or Kai, yes, Kali. Excuse me, you know, while I was away, yes, I still cannot read. So here we go, taking on, what was it, that fake Pikachu? Yes, the Denne with Blade. And, uh, well, I still don't have a steel type move. But it's always nice to go with a Swords Dance, and here comes a Charge Beam, as many of you guys already know. Boosts up the special attack every single time. For some odd reason, the special attack did not boost up, so let's just boost up the physical attack. Go with the Shadow Sneak right here. Alrighty, and bam. Whoa, nearly took away this Dedenne, and here comes a Volt Switch. This hits us hard. And... Her next Pokemon is going to be Azumarill, which in this game, it has turned into a, uh, what was it called? A Fairy-type Pokemon as well. And this Pokemon is a little bit, uh, a little bit bulky for our, for our liking now. Okay. So it looks like to me, Blade won't be able to do anything right here. But, Azumarill has done something for us, and that is we're going to be switching out to the good, good old buddy Nova right here. And, well, here comes an Aqua Ring just to try and heal itself. And, uh, alrighty. Let's go. Bring it on. Okay, he's healing up Pokemon right here. And we're going to be going with a Thunderbolt just because it is, what, eight times damage now with the rain? And how in the heck did you... Okay. That. Wow. Okay, so I wasn't expecting that. Double KO. Okay, so I'm a little rusty from battling. My bad. And Muckle grows to level 34. And, well, let's go straight for Nacho. All right, Nacho. Time to invoke your Nacho Libre uh, style right here. Here is Dedenne. Dedenne. And here we go with a poison jab. Completely forgot that this guy has some kind of poison type move. And there you go, Dedenne has been defeated it did it and well more experience points for our pokemon and kelly has been defeated okay so that wasn't a very very uh, bad start so what i'm gonna do right now guys is i'm gonna heal up my pokemon and do something real quick so i'll be right back with you guys Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and find ourselves a uh, fairy type gym leader right here now there might be some confusion when i'm going around and everything and uh well there there really is, because I'm not going to remember every single spot. Now, if I do find the Fairy-type gym leader before I battle anybody else, then, well, that's, uh, well, that, yeah, you know, it's by luck, guys. It's all luck. And, well, we're going to be battling this girl right here. Let's go. I looked up to Valerie so much that I came here to learn from her. Hmm. Okay, so, here we are taking on Fury Soul Girl Linia. Fury Sewed. Am I saying that correctly? Probably not. I don't know. Comment down below what a Fury Sewed is, guys. Again, I learn from you guys just as much as you guys learn from me. So the more I learn, the more I know, the better the content will be. And well, here we go. Poison Jab hits it. And well, here comes an attract attack. Holy buckets. Okay, so. God dang it, Nacho. I told you. Women weaken legs. Oh my god. Okay, so here we go. Come on. Do it. Do it, and it's immobilized by love. Oh, Lord, Lordy, Lord, Lord. Okay, so it its physical attack won't be won't be good, and yeah, we can't do anything now. Okay, so we got to get ourselves a female Pokemon. So let's go with Jordan the Goat. Man, you gotta love these coughs. Yes, I'm still coughing, guys. Believe it or not, these last two times that I got I got sick, 
left me with a month long, maybe two month long kind of cough, and it, it's just, it, it's rather annoying, guys. I, I get it. It's very annoying. That's why I am stocking up on cough drops and whatnot. And this Pokemon right here will just not go down. And here comes a Moonblast. And that is going to hit me pretty hard right there. So let's go straight for a strength attack. Let's go with the strength. Get it? There you go. Aromatize has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, there you go. Nacho grows to level 44 and wants to learn high jump kick. This one's a... Well, it's a pretty easy one. Let's go ahead and take away a rock smash. Oh, Lord. Yes, you gotta love the coughing. Okay, so... There we go. Linnea has been defeated. And, uh, well, let's go on to the next trainer right here. Usually when I'm going through these, uh, these war panels, I, I, like, and I battle someone, I instantly forget where I, where I went and all that stuff. But it looks like to me, we got another trainer. Don't we look just like a bunch of dolls in his dollhouse? Kinda. I never realized it. I never realized that this place was, like, based off a dollhouse and all that stuff. And, well, here we are taking on the Klefki. Steel and, I believe, fairy type. I could be wrong. All right. Nacho Libre. High jump kick. Let's go. And are you serious? How are these Pokemon faster than us? I do not know. So here we go. High jump kick. And that is for the win. Oh, yeah. Probably should have named it Randy Macho Man Savage or something like that. And, well, look at this. These, my Pokemon are growing. And she is going to be coming out with a Curlia. Huh. Let's go with Blade right here. Because remember... Yeah, Nacho. Still weak against Curlia. It's kind of weird. All right, Curlia. And I don't think poison... Well, I could be wrong. Poison-type attacks don't really work on Curlia as like they used to. Probably because of the psychic capability. I do not know, but look at that. We won. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And, well, here comes a Grand Bull. This Pokemon right here usually gives me some kind of, like, issues and whatnot, so... Let's go. Nacho Libre. Nacho, how's it going? And here comes the Gramble. And, well, let's go with the Poison Jab and see what happens right here. So here we go, Poison Jab. And that nearly takes out Gramble. This Pokemon right here is, uh, well, he's doing that. Let's go. Nacho, finish it. That is right. Okay, alrighty, look at that, Gramble has been defeated. And, uh, well, there's more points for us right there. And Moko, without doing anything, grows to level 35. I am feeling fantastic. Fan-freaking-tastic. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, again, completely forget, so I do apologize, guys. And uh, where will this take us into another Pokemon trainer? Okay, next here, next here. I'm going to heal up my Pokemon. Because they do need healing up. And there we go. Jordan the Goat. There you go. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead. Let's see what this lady has to say. Did you know that a certain type of move has no effect against our beloved fairy type Pokemon? Yeah. You guys know which one it is? Eh, we've already known for about 10 years, right? It's been about 10 years. Holy buck, it's been about 10 years. Oh my god. I'm getting old, guys. I really am. Anywho, here we are taking on Slurpuff, another Fairy-type Pokemon that you'll find right here in the Kalos region. Here is uh, the Poison Jab, and this Draining Kiss is, uh, wow, hits us hard. Okay, alrighty, um, come on, Poison Jab, finish it, finish it, and damn, okay, so, Nacho is not very strong against these Pokemon right here, holy buckets. So wait, what is a draining kiss? Is it like a psychic type move? I could be wrong. Or did I get the, the typing all wrong? Either way, I am like, what the heck? So here we go, Star Fox. It's been a while. Finish him. Flame throw attack, or flame charge. Alrighty, flame charge. Let's be speedy about this. And yeah, okay, so here comes Endeavor. That is going to mess with us just because of its low HP right here. So here we go. Flamethrower attack. Okay, guys, I'm very, very, very rusty right now. It's been a month since I've actually, like, played this game, okay? So, my bad. 
And there you go. Star Fox is learning Will-O-Wisp. And, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and take away Flame Charge since it's not a, uh, a physical type Pokemon. And there you go. This will actually come in handy whenever we need it. And Jordan the Goat grows to level 43. And, uh, yeah, buddy. All right. We win again. Okay, so I am assuming we go right here. And... Huh! Okay. Literally, guys, I was just guessing. I, I, I guess I'm a one lucky SOB, so I guess so. So we're going to heal up our Pokemon. And uh, try to avoid using Mogul, because remember... Dragon type Pokemon do not have any kind of effect against these pi these types of Pokemon. So let's go see what she's all about. Look at that. She's got some fairy wings and everything. Doing the curtsy. She's like, oh, if it isn't a young trainer. So you've flown all the way through my gym, fluttering down uh, to me on an unfortunate wind. Then I suppose you have earned yourself the right to battle as a reward for your efforts. I am Valerie, who leads the fairy types gym. I hope your visit will prove entertaining to you. The elusive fairy types may appear frail as a breeze and delicate as a bloom, but they are strong. Yes, they are. Okay, so here it is, guys. Gym battle number six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's another gym battle. Here we go. Taking on leader Valerie, and she will be coming out with a Mawile. And if I remember correctly, Mawile is still a sleep type Pokemon. So there is coverage for this whole, uh, whatchamacallit, uh this whole poison type move. So here we go, high jump kick. And that one takes out Mawile. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And she will be coming out with a Mr. Mime. Let's go with Blade. Blade is gonna do it. And I think I, wait, wait, do I have, I'm trying to figure out, do I have the stone to evolve this Pokemon? Man, it's been a while. Now, here is Mr. Mime. In this generation, it does gain the fairy type capability, too. So just be aware of that. So let's go with a reflect on us. This will, yeah, this will lower our strike for our physical attack right now. And, well, we're going to go with a shadow sneak. Since it is a, you know, a psychic type Pokemon, too. That is super effective. And here comes a psychic attack. Not so effective. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go. Another Shadow Sneak. For the win. Hopefully. And there you go. Mr. Mime defeated. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So here comes the newest evolution at this time, Sylveon. And it is a pure... It is a pure uh, fairy type Pokemon. So we're going to go back to Nacho Libre himself. And... Hopefully it won't uh, faint against this Pokemon because it is still strong as a Pokemon. So here is Sylvia, looking pretty majestic AF. So let's go straight for a Poison Jab attack. And look at that. Oh, wow. This Pokemon is, uh, wow. Okay. So, proven point. Fairy type Pokemon are super effective against uh, Fighting types. And look at that. She just used a quick attack. Okay, it is time to avenge our fallen Pokemon, and, well, damn. Okay, Star Fox, let's go. Yeah, buddy, okay, time to put some magic. Will-O-Wisp, I knew that, what? Are you serious? Oh, crap, baskets. Okay, so, how, how, can, how does a Sylveon avoid a Will-O-Wisp? There you go, time to feel the burn. That's right. Take some penicillin if you need some. And, well, here comes a swift attack. Not going to be very effective now. There's going to be a burn. Yeah, buddy. That's right. We're being strategic in this whole mug right here. Let's go. Flamethrower attack. Yeah. And that nearly defeats Sylveon. But here comes another dazzling wing. This one hits us hard. And the likelihood of this Pokemon healing up is going to uh, happen. So we're going to go with the Will-O-Wisp again. Oh, we thought it was going to be a full restore. Never mind. Okay, so you're getting burned, my friend. All right, let's prevent some stuff right here. Let's go with the light screen. And that right there will prevent uh, a... Well, that will prevent the normal damage from a Dazzling Gleam right here. There you go. Not so effective, but look at that. You're still burned. That's right. 
Okay. Alrighty. Flamethrower attack. For the win. I think. Oh, that's a that's a nice chunk of change. So now we're just having it out right here with Dazzling Gleam versus Flamethrower. And a little bit of Will O' Wisp. Okay. Alrighty. Finish it. Never mind. Okay, so it seems this Pokemon trainer is well prepared. Let's go. Flamethrower for the win again. Yes, you are burning. Look at that. Okay. And I think one more flamethrower can do it. There you go. Flamethrower. Nearly beats this guy. Here comes a swift attack. Is that considered a... Yeah, that is a special attack. And there you go. The burn does it. We have won. Alrighty. 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 Okay, so there it is, guys. We have defeated Valerie. Oh, the sun is shining tomorrow. That would be the reason. Uh, that would be reason enough for, to smile. Wow, very uh, poetic, I guess. Okay, so that is another victory for us, and well, she's gonna be like, yes, that was a fine battle. I shall reward you for this great victory. This is the fairy badge. It's yours now. Its beauty is captivating. Captivating, is it not? Da da da. Ah, do forgive me. I was so captivated. I forgot a moment uh, that is yours. Huh? It is my moment. There it is, guys. The fairy bag. Okay, so let's see. This captivating fairy uh, badge will endear any Pokemon up to level 80 to you. Yes, even those you, uh, uh, even those Pokemon that you may receive from others will obey you. I also want you to uh, want to award you this TM. Please consider it a personal gift from me, not simply the winnings of a battle. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves the TM99 Dazzling Gleam. Oh my, what a curious feeling. I can't seem to recall any longer which uh, any longer which move is contained in that TM. I hope you might forgive me. My designs are said to be rather mystified. Do you agree with that? I've always wanted to be a Pokemon, you see. That is that desire is my inspiration and what I try to achieve by designing. And yet, the only time I feel like I am truly one with the Pokemon is when we are embroiled in a desperate battle. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Could it be? Never mind. It is nothing, kind trainer. Alrighty. Okay, so that is another gym battle victory for us. And we get ourselves, I guess, probably like the second strongest fairy type move. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And, well, after defeating the gym leader, you're going to get called upon. Hi, Sensei. And two of the other Power Rangers right here, or the Pokemon Rangers, they're going to be like, Hey, that's the fairy badge. It's so cute and sparkly. Know what? We're going to tour the Pokeball factory. Come with us! I'm interested in Pokeballs because they're used to catch Pokemon. To put it another way, I'm utterly fascinated by them. You don't say. Hmm. But wait. There is a storyline right there, and we are going to have to, you know, get back to it once we come back to the next episode. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always, especially, you know... When your boy here is uh, having some health issues and all that stuff. I really, really am thankful to for you guys. More episodes are on the way. I will see you guys in the next episode as we figure out what's going on over there in that Pokeball Tower. See you guys.